Hello everybody, welcome to this new series. Uh, I'm pretty excited about this one. If you know me, if you know my channel, Lousy Gambler, you know that I like to talk about strategy games, AI, data science, uh, finance. And so it's pretty exciting to come across a game called Fiji or Figi that has basically all of the components that I love to talk about. To be 100% fair, I came across this game by reading this article by Ross Rye, who essentially makes a case that poker is a fantastic game to play, to learn, and to kind of absorb a lot of skills, a lot of understanding of the world that is later on useful for educational purposes. Uh, essentially, if you learn poker, you learn to reason and to think under uncertainty, you learn to place bets, <laughs> to basically make bets uh, based on your best current belief and to adjust your understanding of the world when new evidence com comes into the picture. Poker is a fantastic game and we find some common uh, ground in this statement, but uh, pretty amazingly, just like Russ Rye explains that Figgy, well actually it's time to find out how to correctly pronounce that, that word. Uh, give me a sec. Poker is a bad game for teaching epistemics. Figgy is a better one. Okay. <laughs> well, that settles it. Figgy, uh, Figgy is uh, described to be a game that allows you to capture the essence of many skills that are useful for, um, well, for the world later on, especially for trading. We're going to get into that in a second but it makes the strong case that Figgy is just much faster in helping you gaining these skills. Well, it's pretty amazing because I built a game called Belot Manier a while ago. It's a game that very few people play. Uh, basically, it was just me and my dad in Belgium. Uh, we were the kind of like the last man standing. Uh, I, I built this game and I started explaining in a lot of details why I thought that, well, first of all, everybody should learn strategic card games. It helps you think in ways that are very useful for many activities and many work that you're going to do later on in the ser service sector. Um, but beyond that, I basically explain and I try to contrast how useful it is to, to poker itself. I make the case here in this article. And so I basically make the claim that everybody should learn these strategic games. They're super useful, they're really fun, and they're fantastic to, to acquire these skills. And there I am, reading a post by somebody making the very same statement, but explaining this new game called Fiji. So I basically don't have any other choice but to walk the walk and start basically trying to understand how the games work and get into it and see if it is actually useful, see how useful it is for what it claims to be, an, an important game a strategy game to learn so that you can improve your quantitative trading skills. I'm going to get to that in a second. But so I'm going to I'm going to walk the walk. I'm going to try to learn the game. I'm going to do it in live. So I'm going to be pretty bad at it at first. But I'm going to try to show how I learn these games. I'm going to try to play it a little bit. See if I if if I can improve quickly on the game. And I'm going to try to link it to. A lot of, of the things that I talk about, I'm going to try to link it to artificial intelligence, to decision science, uh, to finance. I'm going to try to link it, link it to my own personal experiences and see if it's useful. And well, so essentially I'm going to get into the reading itself. Um, I'm going to, in the next video where I actually start playing, I'm going to assume that you've done more or less the same, that you just essentially came here and maybe watch the video, just maybe watch the uh, introduction here and learn how to play. I think there's a pretty great article that explains in a lot of details how, how to get up and running, basically. It seems pretty confusing and hard, but I think that it seems to be worth it. So I'm just going to read it. Uh, by the way, this game, so this game was developed by a company called Jane Street that seems to be a uh, quant a quant company, just a quantitative trading company. Uh, they seem to hire a bunch of people to make profitable trades for them. They study the market, 
they come up with better algorithmic structures to be able to make these trades and then they profit from it in some sense. Uh, well, I mean, it's more or less what they do, trading, research and tech. Uh, the tech component of it is probably just a bunch of people coding uh, algorithms, embedding heuristics and intelligence in a bunch of scripts and maybe developing optimization functions so that they can figure out well, how to improve target metric, which is very likely the, well, the amount of money they get out of the trades themselves. So it makes sense that there is a, a pretty high component of tech here, which probably refers to artificial intelligence based trading. Uh, quantitative trading is usually relying on that. Uh, by the way, so I don't work for, <laughs> I don't work for Jane Street. I haven't developed the game Figgy. Um, I'm here purely to learn about it and see if I can get any good at the game. So yeah, I hope you're excited for this series. I think it's going to be pretty cool. Um, everybody can get a lot out of playing strategy games. So let me make the case for it. And yeah, no fluff. Let's just get into it.